to share with you a peek inside my the starting point of my Week in the Life album for 2022. Um, so as you can see, I am using the 10 by 8 um, chipboard album from Ali Edwards. Um, and I have Monday set up as well as my intro pages. Um, so I just wanted to share a peek, a peek at sort of my formula and what I'm thinking about for the rest of the week. And hopefully from this point forward, I can just kind of knock it all out. Um, so let's get into it. All right, so I'm super excited to use the 10 by 8 album. Again, if you recall, um, or if you look back on my channel or on my blog, you can see that I used the 10 by 8 album for December daily. Um, so I was excited to use it for this project, which is very different um, for me, at least the way that I um, conduct both of these projects. Um, so on the inside, uh, we have this beautiful, like, light gray, grayish kind of heart pattern, which I really love. I think it's really cute. Um, I was inspired by my friend Nelly. Um, she did this inside her album with white chip. These are like chipboard letters um, from like an old kit. Um, and she had them in white inside of her album. And the white kind of didn't stand out enough for me. And my husband and I both have an S initial. So I decided to do the word us. And I just colored the chipboard with my... Um, uh, Posca paint pens uh, to brighten, to to bolden them up a little bit, make them stand out a little bit more. I've got one of the plastic phrases here in the front, as well as some mixed media pieces, which you'll see how I'm going to use that. I'm going to talk a little bit more about that. Um, I'm also using pieces from the and story kit or the ampersand story kit. So both of these pieces are from that. And then the chipboard are just old pieces from my stash. Um, the and story kit, I'll talk a little bit more about how I'm using that as we go through, but that's been a nice compliment. Um, and the colors work pretty well with the things from the Week in Life products. Um, so here I'm starting out with that beautiful new um, 10 by 4 page protector. So it's two 10 by 4s stacked on top of each other. So I've got a mixed media page here. This is um, jelly printing. Um, so a few... I guess back after the release was announced and in waiting for my products to arrive and things like that, I wanted to start working on some things. Um, and so I made a bunch of jelly print backgrounds that I can use throughout my album that kind of work in the colors, um, mostly work in the colors from the the main kit this year in the, in the Week in the Life collection. I've got a, a long, you know, sort of landscape photo of uh, the three of us in our family. Uh, this Every Family Has a Story piece, I believe is from the Family Story Kit. It was something in my stash. It's just like an acetate piece, but I thought the bold of that looked really nice. These are old letters. These big letters are from Felicity Jane. Um, they need some glue in them, I think, because they keep peeling up on the edges. Um, and then Ellie Studio are the smaller ones. Down here, I've got, um, you'll see these dates repeated, or these little stripped date strips repeated. Um, but just a black piece. I print um, a lot of my digitals uh, and things when I'm doing hybrid. I print on a Staples matte photo paper um, and that works really, really well. Pam Baldwin recommended that in a class at some point and I just kind of took to that. Um, so the black looks really great on there with the dates of the week um, on there. And then these guys... Um, they'll be something I've pulled from my stash I'm incorporating. They were like a week in the life. Um, they're the like perforated word phrase strips um, that are gold foiled. So I really love those and will be using those um, throughout my album. So I've got one here that says big love for the stuff of everyday life. So that's sort of my opening page. And then on the back side uh, and... Here, this is the one of the vellum uh, die cut pieces. I have the digitals, I didn't get them physical. Um, so I have the digital, so I was able to recolor it to match the colors in the timeline a little bit better. And this is one of the templates from the variety template pack um, for the Week in the Life collection. I'll link to that below. Um, but these are, it's one of the layered templates. So in here, I just did a little like synopsis almost, or like a highlight of each day of the week with the day, with that day's date um, to just talk about like, here's an overview of what happened this week. So that's kind of fun. 
And then we're starting in on my formula. So intro, intro pages, and then this is where the formula starts. So each day I'm using the big 10 by eight um, transparencies to start the day, which I love. Um, and I love the big stitched hearts. I wasn't quite sure what to do. I'm not using this as a pocket. It doesn't really matter to me. I don't wanna cover up the day of the week at all. And I didn't really have anything to like put in there. So I decided to um, print out again on that like bold black pattern, print out the day of the week, um, or sorry, the date for each day of the week. And then I'm using this circle days um, stamp set that came in this week's, or this year's Week in the Life collection um, to stamp out a sentiment and then this week in the center because I didn't need another way to indicate the day of the week right here. You can see in that stamp set, I could have used the day of the week, uh, you know, initials for the day in the week, but, um, or day of the week, but I didn't need to do that um, since it's already gonna live on this. So in a coordinating color. So I'll have one of these. This is what every day's opening will look like. On the back of that, I've used that template um, to print out. I think I printed like a six by six photo um, and then used the hearts to trim out, to trace and trim out a photo. Um, with some word phrase stickers. Those are my favorite Week in the Life embellishments by far. So you'll definitely see those throughout. And they're just all from old um, collections. Because I bought no, I didn't buy any of the physical kits this year. I bought a couple of the add-ons, right? Like the stitched hearts, the transparencies, the word phrases. Um, but in terms of kits, I'm just using digital stuff or I'm using stuff from my stash. Each day we'll start with a big 10 by eight photo. This is inside the page protector. Um, they won't all have a plastic phrase over them. These are just some leftover ones that I have from, um, and they're a bit smaller. I think I have loving, I had the real life right now. And then I think documenting is the other one that I have left over. So I'm not sure where I'll use that or if I will. Um, the bigger ones, the ones that have like more of a phrase on them, I'm gonna be using those and we'll talk about that in a minute, but most of my photos, if not all of them, will be uh, time stamped, and that's just using an old time stamp from Allie. I don't believe that's available in the shop anymore. Um, although Allie, if you're watching, please bring that back. It's amazing. Um, I had to. I bought one from a friend <laughs> who had to have a new extra because I destroyed my other one. <laughs> um, using it so much. But nice big detail shot or just a snippet from our day. This actually happened to be from a, a Zoom craft night I was having with friends. Um, we were working on some, some stitching projects together. Um, to take this photo, I just set my camera up on top of a shelf and used my Apple Watch as the timer to sort of get this view down on top of what I was doing. Here on the back every day will be a, this is all my timed journaling. So I'm actually using a template from the December daily, um, 2021 December daily layered templates. So it's this template right here, this one that says this December day, it already has the times on it and has the grid already built in. So I was like, well, that's perfect. I'm just gonna use that because I already have it. I don't have to recreate it. There wasn't one that was like it in the, week in the life templates. So uh, I'm going with it. So I've altered that again. I love that about digital products is that, um, you know, in working hybrid or working digital, you can customize all of that. So I took out the December day uh, title. I added in, this is like a everyday life piece from some alley digital that I have in my collection. I don't even know what. Um, and then I just found a font that's similar to, um, I'm using, I like to narrow my choices when I'm working on projects like this. So um, I am using the Carrie Bradford Max small and extra large stamps um, throughout this album for different things. So you could see um, on my We Are Here title and my reason why um, I'm using the small Max. So I found a font that's just pretty similar to that, which is just kind of a serif font. Um, in Photoshop and just added that in every day. Um, and then just added snippets of photos from throughout the day. So those are all just little square captures. Moving on, I've got a six by eight outside the page protector. And what I've done is instead of printing it full size um, to be what seven by 8.25, 
I've really done six by eight or six by 8.25 and then um, attached it to a piece of, uh, it's actually attached to my journaling on the back, but that allowed me this strip of white space here that I then cut down out of some of my jelly prints um, to include a little bit of that like mixed media printed, you know, messy feel in here. I love the way that turned out. These are the six, this is a template from the six by eight templates, layered templates that came out in the Week in the Life collection. Um, and so this was the Monday. I've got my timestamp adding an Avery index tab to let you know that this is like an insert page um, and just typing some word phrase or stamping some word phrases in there. Then I've got my journaling. I've typed out all my journaling. So each day I am using prompts from the ampersand kit or the and kit this actually wasn't one <laughs> um so there are a lot of them that have those little um they were these little like story cards or story strips um so these are some of the ones that i'm using gratitude and joy highs and lows this and that but there wasn't one i wanted to use for every day and i had come up with some others that i wanted to use so i just made my own with the digitals I could do that because I already had the shape and the and, so I just picked one. I found a font that matched it, actually matches exactly. So um, I like, I just made my own. Um, again, I love love the digitals because I can alter it and make it, um, make it work for me, right? Use the existing products I have, mix in something that's digital or hybrid um, and really make it come together for me. So each day I used a and, lens for my story. So Monday was facts and feelings. I've stamped out Monday using those max um, letters from Carrie Bradford. I'll link to those too. I'm not sure if they're still available in the store or not. Um, she does like limited release things. Um, and then on the back, I'm using one of those photo templates um, this is again from the six by eight week in the life templates. And I'm actually going to redo this because I saw Jenny Ray did this and, but she cut hers out. Um, so she had that like organic kind of wonky shape and then, um, she stamped on the background. And so I really kind of love that. So I might redo this one or I might just change it as I go through the others, um, and added a little piece of chipboard that just again came from my stash. Then we're moving into, so this will be my kind of formula every day. My journaling is already printed. I have every, all my journaling printed for the, for the week, um, except for this sheet because it needs the photos, but the journaling is already done and saved. Um, so I've done all the word work in my album. Now I just have to do the photo and embellishing work in my album. For the next page, I have that um, divided page protector that has two four by fours and two four by sixes. Um, if you go back into Instagram, you can see I made my own. Um, I didn't wanna buy the physical kit, so I had the digitals. Um, these were from the 2017 Week in the Life collection, and I just cut them. I bought some gold foil paper on uh, Amazon and cut them on my Cricut. Uh, using those digitals. So happy to have those in there. So each day we'll have one of them. I can't decide. I think I'm probably going to staple it in place because I don't like the way I don't want it to fall out. Um, it kind of moves around a lot. Then I've created my own gratitude card for the four by four size. So I stamped out gratitude, thankful for this, and then wrote about gratitude. Um, photos here on the bottom, probably in most cases. This is a super fun photo. Um, I have taken the same photo every year in my week in the life. Um, maybe I'll put together a picture actually and put it on Instagram of all of them together. Um, just showing different things. This is the first time that Ruby has been in my photo with me, but the first time I took it was like leaving to go to work. So I had my work bags and like my water bottle. One year I took it as I was getting ready to go out for a run. So I've got my sneakers and like my water bottle, you know, I'm just capturing different things as I'm leaving the house, but it's the same general setup. And I love that re repetition piece and seeing, you know, it is an indication of how my life is changing um, year to year. On the back of those gold phrase or uh, gold foil words, I'm going to stamp out the day of the week. This is just using, um, I think it's the daily tabs stamp. Yeah. This is the daily tab stamp from Ellie Studio. 
um, has all of the days of the week and a nice just like typewriter font. So I'm going to use that. It's kind of messy. I don't care. Um, all photos on the back here. Um, capturing some different things this year. We had a friend who was living with us, so that's different. Um, driving through a neighborhood. This is actually um, the church I grew up going to. Uh, it's where my husband and I met for the very first time when we were in middle school, which is crazy. Um, so I'm really happy to have a little piece of that. I mean, we live nearby. I just, I don't have any photos of it um, in my albums because I don't attend church anymore. And so I have no reason really to include them, but happy to have that little snippet on my way to the post office. Then I've got another, or not another, but each day we'll have one of those um, 10 by eight, or sorry, 10 by four, four by 10 um, protectors in there where I'm using the gold foil, like morning, afternoon, evening cards. Uh, and so I ran these through, I made a template in Photoshop and then ran them through the printer so I could get my journaling right on them. Uh, they'll be paired with a like landscape photo up there or a panoramic photo. Light embellishments, always light embellishments in this project, really. Um, every day I took a photo out my kitchen window or out of our um, dining room window uh, into our neighborhood. So every day I have a photo that looks just like this of what the weather was. And then I used the, um, there's a weather stamp that came, stamp set that came out, I believe in 2021 week in the life. Um, and so I've got the digital of that. And so I just made my own little like template for this where I can plug my photo in and put in the high and the low or sorry, the high and the low for the day and what the weather was with an icon. Um, so every day that will be one of these that'll be in this spot. And then down here on the bottom, I did my documenting week, um, as you've probably heard back in May. Um, and so I didn't know what templates were going to be available or anything like that at that point in time. Um, so this is one that Lisa put out in the variety layered templates pack that said something like on the menu here. It had some digital word art on the menu. Um, I didn't take photos of food every day. Um, I just didn't this year. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I don't. My food life is not generally that exciting. So um I tend not to document it very closely. So what I did is I just had some other word art. This is from the, um, I think from the For the Love story kit. Um, I had it in digital. So I just pulled that out. I was like, that works perfect um, to add in here. So it might be this one every day. It might be something else if I have a different theme from photos, but then using that template to include some like rectangular photos, portrait st style. Next, over here, this page is not done yet because I'm going to do them all at the end um, to see what photos I have left over and if I need to take any photos that might be missing because I'm okay with that. Um, it's still the general time frame of when this project is done, so I don't care about that. Um, but my idea here, and if you watched my setup video, you may have, you may have already heard this. So I have one of these for every day that I'm going to use as like a photo lens. So it's not a story lens, but a photo lens, the like plastic word phrases. So this one will be around the house. I'm using it with a jelly print that I printed on um, deli paper. So actually this will go in, oh yeah, this way. Um, and what it's going to do is it's going to be a flip out like this. And underneath, I'm going to use one of those six by eight templates um, for a photo collage. So this will kind of be folded over covering photos and it'll flip out. But these are going to be photos from around the house for the whole week. So they're not just from Monday. I'm pulling these from Thursday, from Wednesday, from Saturday, like whatever day of that capture things I want to document about around our house right now. And so that's like physically what's in our house. Um, there's one that's like home life. And so after a conversation with friends, I was trying to figure out like, well, what do I want that to be if they're kind of different or are they, you know, they seem overlapping to me. Um, and so we talked about like scenes around the house versus things you do at home, like what is part of your home life. So that's how I'm distinguishing that. But, um, I'll have an update for those for sure in my walkthrough at the end of the project. 
Oh, come on. And then over here will be an outside the page protector. Um, this is going to be full size. So it's, um, I think 11 by 8.25. So I've only had to trim off a little bit at the top and bottom using Lisa's um, digital templates. Um, so it's the basics of everyday life. So this one, I've included the text of my morning routine. So these are different pieces of my morning routine um, and a little bit of context about each of them. I will have one of these for every day. That's a little bit different. And no, I did not take these pictures. I didn't even take these pictures during week in the life. In fact, Spoiler, I haven't taken all of these photos yet at all. <laughs> um, I have taken two of them that I plan to use, but the, f the five remaining ones, um, I'm going to have to do that um, probably this weekend to get them ready for my album. But again, the story really hasn't changed in a couple of weeks, right? Our routines, the things we use every day, the basic, again, this basics of daily life. Right now, we're still in a very similar season, so I feel okay about capturing that. And then I will end each day with a full size outside the page protector photo. This is probably where I plan to use the puffy pieces, the puffy circles. Um, I pulled a full, I pu pulled a few more of these from my stash um, because there were only five that came um, as part of the add-on and I want to use one every day. So I probably will have those somewhere on this page. And then that's all for Monday. So you can see I've already got sort of the skeleton of my album already set up. Um, oh yeah, I didn't do gratitude on Sunday because gratitude was my lens for the whole day. So I didn't have a gratitude card. So I used another one of those um, vellum digital uh, pieces and printed it out to put in there where the gratitude card would be. Um, but you can see I've got most, uh, you know, some of my journaling is already in here. Some of the, the like gold foil word or days of the week are already in. Um, it's just waiting for the rest of my journaling is already printed and ready to go and formatted because I wanted to make sure I knew where I had space for pictures. Um, you know, I might be able to fit like a three by six in here. Um, things like that. So all my journaling is printed. Um, and then here are some of my like leftover collage pieces from the ones I've used, some others that I might use and incorporate in here. Um, so yeah, so I'm off to what I feel like is a pretty good start. I am hoping it's been on my, pro this has been on my desk for weeks because my work stuff has just been really busy, but I'm really hoping to make some progress on this this weekend. And hopefully very soon I will have a full walkthrough, um, of the completed album to share with you. So if you have any questions, make sure to leave them down in the um, comments below. Um, I'm trying, I'm gonna try to link to everything I've used um, where I can so that you have all of that information. Um, and thanks for watching.